factors that you mentioned like drought, like listeriosis, like the land issue, they come up periodically and they could have a negative impact on tourism growth. And so we need to manage these things very carefully. On the drought issue, I think we've spoken quite a lot about it, but we've got to send the message out to the world that notwithstanding the, the, the very concerted effort made by the people in Cape Town to avoid a crisis, there is no crisis waiting to happen. There won't be a crisis. And so the, the, there's really no reason why tourists should not visit Cape Town. At the moment we've got the listeriosis, we, we're dealing with it. Um, and so it, it doesn't pose a threat to tourists. And so we've got to send out the message that of course, you know, there will be, in this case, it's a, um, it's, it's a bacteria related disease. We've identified the cause, uh, we're dealing with it and it's not going to represent any threat to any of the tourists coming to South Africa. Um, thirdly, we have our own history in South Africa, that's the land issue, a very sensitive issue in South Africa. Now, of course, there have been many calls from many quarters that we've got to expropriate land without compensation. Well, expropriation of land would be part of a package of measures um, that, that one would introduce in order to address this inherited reality, painful reality, uh, as President Ramaphosa expressed so eloquently in Parliament in response to questions, a real painful reality that um, we're still faced with the legacy of um, people being dispossessed of their land through apartheid laws and also people being denied access to land and the current patterns of land ownership being so terribly skewed. And so we have to deal with it, but we have to deal with it in the smartest possible way and we certainly are not going to go on any land grabbing spree. Landowners are not under threat and they shouldn't regard themselves under threat.